Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong, and the following is an excerpt from my newest course, Unleash the Power of Your Sony Alpha. Our full course offers nearly five hours of video instruction with topics instantly accessible with our new sidebar navigation tool. No more endless scrolling. And you'll love this. You'll get a PDF of all of the menu items listed by tab, page, and line number, and then cross-reference for fast locating in alphabetical order. Visit us at sonyalphacourses.com. Okay, now let's go to your tip. So to activate Pixel Shift Multi Shoot, that is on tab one, page three, and line four. When we go ahead and select this, it'll turn on the viewfinder, and this will give us some choices. So those will be found on the left side. Off, uh, four frames, or 16 frames, and the shortest means the duration between exposures. We're going to go ahead and select 16 images, interval shortest. So now, I'll go ahead, fire 16 shots. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. And again, what it's doing is it's microscopically shifting the sensor and picking up red, green, and blue. You're going to want to download Imaging Edge software. Of course, this location could change, but for right now, it's located at the following website. When you download Imaging Edge software, there's three different components, Edit, Remote, and Viewer. In order to process these multi-shift images, you're going to want to go ahead and double-click on Viewer. Now, in the Viewer software, you'll see all of the images that are on that card. Find the images that have this little logo right down here. That little logo means it's part of a multi-shift sequence. So we'll go number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen of sixteen. Okay. So now we're going to go up to edit and say create and adjust pixel shift multi-shoot composite image. So it'll say preparing. And then we'll say next and now what you'll see is it will show you the composite image. Now this is very interesting because what I want you to see is that it took 16 different shots and because it was handheld it created this mosaic. Now I'll show you an example when I don't have it handheld but it's very interesting to show you 16 shots with camera shake showing the red, green, blue, and black all in one image. Okay, now let's do some images that were shot on a tripod. So we'll just do these right here. These were actually done on an A7R3, so there won't be 16, but there will be four. You can see right here, down here on the bottom, 0, 1, 0, 4, 2, 4, 3, 0, 4, and 4, 0, 4. We go up here to edit, create, and adjust multi picks shoot. And then we'll come in really tight here. Now this is really interesting. You're actually seeing the um, red, green, and blue because these little guys were moving around. Isn't that interesting? So higher resolution, but you're actually seeing the pixel shift multi-shoot here at work. So here's a comparison of the two images. This one on the right has quadruple the resolution as this one here on the left. You can see that there's more color separation in the reds, whereas this one becomes one blocky red thing. And over here, these little fleur de lis look much, much sharper than they do here. So this one right here is a quadruple-sized file made through Pixel Shift Multi-Shoot.